Welcome to today's video. It's going to be what I eat in a week and I actually filmed this two weeks ago which I will link right here or here and so I wanted to show you guys some more recipes and more of the foods that I eat that are very quick and easy so that hopefully it gives you guys more inspiration on what to eat especially if you work or if you're a student like me. Before we get into this week's video, I just want to thank Ana Luisa for kindly sponsoring this video. I have been an avid fan of Ana Luisa for many years. I gift them for myself, my friends. I just love the brand. I love their dainty jewelry pieces. I love that they value protecting the planet. Ana Luisa is 100% carbon and water neutral. From the packaging to the pieces themselves, they use recycled materials. I moved back and forth from the Bay to Southern California, and every time I like to pack my jewelry, I love putting them in these little pouches. I know that they will not go missing, and they're very protective and it is made from cotton, which is a lot more resourceful than plastic. Ana Luisa gifted me three pieces of jewelry that I love so dearly. The first two are actually the ones that I am wearing. This first one, I am wearing the Rocks Small Hoops, and it's basically kind of like a boxy hoop that I think is so dainty, and I love it because you can dress it up or down. For me, I put these on. I literally have not taken them off for probably a few weeks now and they don't tarnish. I wear them in the shower as well. The second pair that I'm wearing on my doubles are called the Ashley Pearl Huggy Hoops and this one just has dainty little pearls that go all around the hoop and it's so beautiful. There's some other pieces from Ana Luisa that I have purchased myself in the past. This one is the Rope Bold Ring and I love this especially when I am dressed up. I think this is a very great statement piece. This one is the Haley ring. I actually got this for my girlfriend and I as like a friendship ring. I have another pair of earrings over here. These are called the Helen chain link earrings and this one is actually the pair that I am going to gift my mom. She's been eyeing some dainty gold jewelry pieces and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to gift her for Mother's Day. Ana Luisa is actually having a Mother's Day sale right now, which is buy one, get one 40% off. And yeah, let's make our mothers feel loved and special. Get you and your mom some matching earrings, rings, necklaces. I am so excited to see my mom's reaction with this. Thank you once again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video and the link to shop on their website will be down below. All right, earlier today, I went grocery shopping at Trader Joe's after class and I filmed it to show you guys the things that I plan on making. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Hey, I think you're cute. Can I hit you up on Instagram? Cause you are the only thing I'm thinking of and I can't stop it. I'm wishing you and I were talking. But even if we talked, I wouldn't know what I would say. My social awkwardness would just get in the way. I picked up some flowers. Felt like I needed some color in the room now that it's getting a little gloomy. And I'll put these in the bag. It's a non-dairy oat creamer in the brown sugar flavor. I've heard a lot of good things about this and I actually heard about it through TikTok. Some mushrooms, very boring. I picked up some organic chamomile tea. I love having tea at the end of the day and I didn't have any left at home so I picked up this Greek yogurt and I like to get mine plain. I have three bananas over here. I also picked up these cheddar cheese rocket crackers and these remind me of goldfish and I really enjoy snacking on them. I have some Brussels sprouts. I love air frying these with salmon, maple, agave syrup blend when I went back home to my family's house. I enjoyed adding maple syrup to my lattes because it's a lot easier to mix because it's a lot lighter than honey. I feel like it's gonna taste really good with yogurt. I have two of these strawberries, one for me, one for Irene. And last but not least, I have my favorite salad. It is called the Crunchy Slaw with chicken, crispy noodles, and peanut dressing. Um, I have a feeling today I might want to just be a little lazy and eat this for dinner. These are my go-tos when I don't want to cook and I need a quick bite. Sometimes if I need a quick lunch even, I'll just come to Trader Joe's and pick this up. 
and they actually like give you a fork and everything um, if you ask them. So. For breakfast today, I am enjoying some strawberries with plain Greek yogurt and I also topped it off with some goji berries as well as the maple agave syrup. And I kind of like to use a fork so I kind of dip it in the yogurt. I personally don't like to have a lot of yogurt for breakfast because it makes my stomach hurt. So this is a good way to enjoy it while still having some yogurt. Mm -mm -mm. The agave is really good. Today I am grabbing dinner with an old friend. Um, she's someone who I met through freshman year living in the dorms. Not sure if I'm going to record anything, but this is going to be my little snack and I'm going to get ready and then I'm actually going to make a lunch, a proper lunch. <laughs> so. This quarter, my classes are a lot more in person and it's definitely made my life a lot busier and I feel like even cooking wise, I haven't had the chance to really to spend time cooking. I'm mostly on the go and I need something really quick and I'm really bad with change. It's already week three, but for some reason I still feel like I'm kind of getting adjusted to my new schedule. I'm also taking six classes this quarter. That's 24 units and that's a lot more than typical. Hmm. I'm lacking some energy and I need some coffee, so let's go downstairs and make some coffee. soba noodle stir fry and not really a stir fry i guess it's soba noodle salad dish um it's very quick and easy i have 20 minutes right now to make it and eat it before i start work so hopefully i can make it
some soy sauce, just a little bit. Sesame oil. Go in with some sugar. And that's it. You're just gonna mix it all up. I'm gonna add the tofu pieces. to eat and I'll finish it after. I'm so excited. Growing up my mom would make this for me while my mom and my dad ate it with kimchi but back then when I was way too young it was too spicy for me to eat so she would instead mix it with soy sauce, sugar, probably not the healthiest thing but now I add my protein and my veggies to balance it out. Tofu is one of my favorite foods. I feel like there are so many ways to eat tofu. Little bok choy. I have my leftover coffee from earlier. I need to get to work. Good morning, everyone. So it is currently 9.15 in the morning and I have class at 10 and I typically like to leave my house 30 minutes in advance so that I have time to find parking and also walk to my class afterwards. I'm going to try to go to the gym or I am going to go to the gym. That is why I'm dressed like this. Normally, honestly, to be realistic, I wouldn't eat anything but because I know I'm going to go to the gym after. I'm gonna have a slice of the banana bread I made earlier. Also have some iced coffee that I made. I'm gonna eat this on my drive to class, so let's go. So this is how my hair turned out from the Dyson. I'm still learning, but I think every time I use it, I'm getting better and finding what technique works for me. So it's definitely gonna calm down right now, I feel like. Anyways, it's finally lunchtime. I'm so excited to eat. This is actually my first proper meal. I am basically eating my leftovers, Mediterranean rice, and then I have my chicken kebab, spicy hummus, and Mediterranean salad as my side. This sauce, oh my gosh, this is like garlic sauce that they make. It is so good. I'm gonna dip the chicken in the garlic sauce. Mm-mm-mm. This place will forever be one of my favorite Mediterranean places. I'm going to take some of the pita bread. I air fried this so it's nice and warm. Dip it in the spicy hummus. Mm. I feel like Mediterranean food is one of the most perfect balanced meals. I have my rice, my protein, my veggies. 
I really like how I have a nice variety. It is currently 138. I actually usually have class at 2, which I'm still going to go to, but I need to meet my advisor at 145 on Zoom. So I emailed my professor that I'll be late to her class, and so I'm going to meet up with my advisor, ask her a bunch of questions I have about graduation, commencement, because it's been giving me so much anxiety, and then I'm going to head to class, so hopefully I can make it by 2.30 so I don't miss out on too much. If you're in Riverside, it's a place called Georgie's Mediterranean Cuisine. I think it's family owned, very small business too. I will gladly give them all of my money for this. Mm, 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 mm. I think their rice is also marinated in like the chicken or something. The flavor is so good. This is called Huncha in Korean, and it's basically pomegranate flavored vinegar that you can add water. Apparently, it's supposed to be very healthy for you, but I personally just make it because I enjoy the taste. This is so refreshing and like the perfect drink in the summer, in the heat. Mmm. Wiped it clean.
just got done getting ready. Irene and I are going to go out for some coffee later. Um, but for now, I'm really hungry, so I'm going to make some lunch. Today, I'm going to be making this crispy eggplant rice dish. I learned this recipe from an Instagram page called Cafe Maddie. Basically, a Korean girl who shares a lot of easy Korean recipes. If you want the full tutorial, then you should check out the Instagram Cafe Maddie, which I'll put like right here. But yeah, let's go make some lunch. I'm starving. Can't look away from how it knows me Pretty young girl dancing on the screen Has to write in a bio, she's 17 Cause the deal will show the mill 30 year olds And the watch times will grow as she takes off her clothes on the feet I think about it when I go to sleep Oh my god, I look like a crazy <laughs> Wow. Mm -mm. Changing first and then makeup though. Mm -hmm. But my brain still prefers the distractions. All the porn and the trauma, the jokes and the trauma. I can't fucking help that. I need it. So I'm gonna snack on this. This is called korebap. I like to call it whale snacks, but I can't really describe what it is. It's basically just seasoned crackers shaped like whales and just sea animals. This is like my childhood snack. I still have my coffee from earlier. This is a Trader Joe's green onion pancake. I have one left, so we're gonna fry this up. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am currently in my... <sighs> Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. For breakfast, you guys saw that I had my coffee and my strawberry yogurt situation again. It's 12.30, and this class is a three-hour lecture, and it's going to be ending at 2. Um, we're currently on a short 10-minute break. I want to go to the gym right after this class ends, so I am going to go downstairs right now and prepare for my lunch so that when I get back from the gym, I can just go ahead and put it in the air fryer.
Jenna, and I'm gonna eat this banana on the way. I just showered, and my Brussels sprouts and chickpeas are ready. This looks so bomb. And drink of choice today, I'm gonna be enjoying some coconut water. I know some people love coconut water, some people hate it. I personally love it. And so I got like a huge pack of these big size bottles. <laughs> Could have air fried them a little more, but it's still pretty good. I'm gonna drizzle some sriracha. Mmm. These are the Wisp Cheese Crisp, and it's in the Osceolo Pepper Jack flavor. Here's what it looks like. Do you guys call these garbanzo beans or chickpeas? currently three o'clock irene and i kind of slept very late last night so i had a meeting this morning and time just flew by so this is actually my first meal of the day i have some pivimyeon um this is just like an instant pack that you can buy in the korean grocery market it's where they sell like ramen and everything i topped it off with an egg So for kimchi jjigae, I have a lot of different ways I like to make it. I have been enjoying making kimchi jjigae with this. This is basically like sangwangtang gungur. It's like that milky white soup that a lot of Koreans like to enjoy. My mom gave me this. These are sardines. So I'm going to try this today because I'm out of my usual canned tuna. Um, so hopefully it tastes good. <laughs>
that wraps up this week's video and again to shop on Anna Luisa's website it'll be linked down below and I can't wait to see what we all get our moms for Mother's Day. Bye! So don't let me fall.